All right, let's do this video. It'll be a short one. We're just going to look at editing data um, in general. So if I want to edit data, there's a couple ways I can do it um, as the builder. So I could go into data here. I can click on app data and I can see all of my data here. I can click on modify. I could, well, I can click on this record and I can delete it. I can also just click on modify. Um, being able to go in and delete the data is really helpful as you're building the app. I'll oftentimes build apps that have like two attributes and what I'll end up doing is going back and uh, adding four or five or six attributes that I end up needing for filter, lo filter logic as we go. And clearing the database as we do that is really helpful to not just have extra data in there that isn't uh, being created the same way I wanted it to. So for that, you just click there and click on delete. That will delete all your data. You can also uh, edit by just clicking one of these. You can change numbers here. So I can probably change this to a five. I can change it to a five just by clicking save. Easy stuff to do there. Uh, it makes it helpful when you are an admin and you are building the app. So when you're creating the app, you might just want to create some data quickly in here instead of going through the whole app. Um, just to test certain uh, parameters of your app or just go in and quickly edit a piece of data in there to check or go back and check why maybe something's not showing up. It's really good to, to know this. So for instance, maybe I am trying to figure out why when I send the data here, like so this is uh, from another video, but it's basically there's a color and a number here and the color and number get sent to here and here. And I'm trying to figure out why I'm not getting a, I put a five in here and I don't get, I mean, I get a five here, but I don't get a five here and I can check my data first, right? So say it's red five I'm sending, but I'm not getting a five in that bottom box. I would want to come and check and make sure first I'm creating a red five. Right, I am creating red with the number five. So this and this are working right. It's creating a thing, red five is showing here. Why isn't red five, sh five showing here? It could be that I don't have the default value set up right. I could be that I don't have uh, the type of content for this box set up right, but it gives me a better idea of where to look. Uh, that's the important thing about data. Uh, that's how you kind of manually can edit data. but say I wanted to let users edit their data. So for instance, this is, I'm sending it to this group, which is something I show in another video, um, which click this button, send data to this group. So now I have this group, this thing's data in this group. So the type of data is thing for video. That's the thing in this group. Anything in this group should be related to that. So like here, all I had to do was reference this thing to grab its attributes and list them at the top. What that allows me to do is create this button here that says make changes to a thing, which all I did was go down to here, go to data and things, make changes to the thing, to thing. You could also do a list, so you could pull like a list of things, and we're not gonna do that in this video. Um, but essentially, color, number, very easy to do. and we just save. And it will save the change. I'll show you what that looks like real quick here. Purple twos changed to red four. Very easy. Changed here, it changed here, it changed here, it changed here because I edited it here. I change it to blue four, save. Changed here, changed here, saved here. Very simple. All right. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Have a great day. Like and subscribe.